Well, it was a, it was a humble experience. Um, uh, a, a game that uh, did not turn out obviously the way that we had hoped for or planned for it. Um, some, some things very encouraging, though, that our team demonstrated a fighting spirit. Uh, they showed uh, the resilience that this team has had over the years that I've been here. And I believe uh, that's how you create champions. That's how champions are made. Uh, maybe not overnight, but you got to have something about you um, that has a championship spirit. And I was pleased to see that. That's something that we can build on for our fans, alums, uh, disappointed of the performance we left on the field. I take full responsibility for that. But uh, very excited and encouraged about what's in front of us and going forward. You said you wouldn't know how it felt for you as a first-time coach until you got in it. So at what point did it, kind of, did it feel different for you for the first time? Oh, no. We got down 14 nothing, <laughs> And both as a head coach and a defensive coordinator. You know, um, uh, defensive-wise defensive thinking, okay, what are they doing to us? At that point in time, they, they put in a couple of wrinkles that we had not seen from Coach Dillian years past. I give him credit and their staff uh, all the credit. They, they did a real good job coaching those guys up. And they were, they were prepared to play much more than we were. Uh, so I should have said that first off. Um, but just trying to figure out answers, how we're going to slow this thing down, and then we're going to help our team. And then, you know, offensively, um, just communicating with Coach Taylor, hey, uh, we'll just, let's, let's try and find a way to extend drives and, and, and keep plays going and, 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 you know, keep the defense off the field. So those things were working through my mind as a head coach, whereas in the past when I wasn't really thinking other phases of the game to, uh, 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 and, and how it would affect our team. Well, it, it, this coming week, without question, I, I expect it week one, week two, and three um, that, that we're going to make some really big gains. And I, I believe it's got to be in the areas of a fundamentals. We have some, um, some alignment um, and, and obviously tackling issues um, that have to be addressed and have to be cleaned up. Saying all will present the same challenges any other football team does it. If you don't line up correctly and, and do assignments, then they're going to expose you because they're very capable in that way. And so those are things we expect to get fixed and then build on that and increase our intensity and our tempo uh, in preparation for obviously this game and, and the next games to follow. Hopefully when you think back, you know, to your first game as, as a head coach, there are some happy memories that you'll be able to pull. Yeah. What will some of those be? Well, you know, my sister uh, and my nephew flew, uh, flew over from Toronto, Canada. Uh, my wife, Lynette, was with me uh, during the game. Those, those were great experiences. Alumni and fans, uh, the chancellor, everyone was very supportive. You know, you, I, I don't like to let people down. It really hurts me to let people down that uh, support me. And, um, you know, but it was a good experience to see that, how much, how encouraging they were before the game and after the game. And I'll never forget that. Um, and, and, and so th that all made the experience worthwhile. I embraced the whole everything, the outcome, just as I do this job. You know, each day there's challenges and things that you have to um, go through and, and get better from it. And uh, that process on Sunday will be no different. Well, Kelly Reddick's been great to us in my time here. And we always purpose to win every home game. Uh, we feel like we have a distinct 12th man advantage. And uh, if you want the fans to come out and support and cheer you, you got to please them. And so we want to win the football game for that, to obviously um, keep the intensity, keep the excitement around our program. Um, so having said that, you're right. St. August is just right across the way, and uh, it's going to be a very important game for them. I'm sure they have some uh, former high school teammates that are on our team, vice versa. And so uh, it, it, when you get in a situation where everyone kind of knows everybody, there's not a fear factor. There's not an intimidation factor. That kind of goes out the window. So we, we got to make sure that we're, we, we start you know, fast that we're not flat, don't want to give them any kind of momentum or any kind of hope early. And, uh, um, and that's why, you know, Division II, all that kind of stuff, FS, FCS, kind of throw that stuff out the window. Uh, you got guys who are locally, know one another, and uh, they're going to want to show up each other and who's the better athlete. The last two times you guys lined up against St. Augs, they've been very lopsided. Yeah. Um, how do you, as a head coach, make sure your guys aren't Looking past this team, uh, I tell you what, I got some film from Sunday's uh, performance. Uh, if that if that won't humble you, then it's going to be a long season. And uh, you know what we have to make sure we communicate is that those young men there saying, "Oh, there's quite a few of them are on scholarship just as well as they are." And uh, good circumstances, fortunate, whatever you may call it, fortune is why one young man might be at there and another another one here, or just Lord willing, that's the way it worked out. I say that to say this: uh, when you put on the pads and 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 the gear and the equipment. You're all just a, another athlete. Uh, they can easily move us out of the same way or rush our quarterback the very same way as did Prairie View. And so, like I said, we'll always we, – we've ate some um, humble pie, 
And that ought to be enough for right now to have us focus on ourselves. And that's where the focus needs to be. Well, you saw, we know, we noticed in the spring that uh, Chauncey and, and Deshaun, they have, a, they have a chemistry. And, uh, and we, you know, that it's pretty obvious where that was all born out from the high school connections and things like that. And uh, they've continued to build on that chemistry from spring football up until now. I think that's going to play, pay great dividends, you know, as we go on through the season. And, um, you know, it, it's good to have a, a connection like that. I think uh, – uh, they'll both admit that they've got other capable receivers around them. Xavier McCoy flashed and showed some good things. Um, E.J. Hicks, you know, there are a lot of guys that contributed. But uh, having that comfort blanket, I guess you could say, um, I'm sure makes uh, those two feel very well. Coach Taylor feels very well about it, and, and, and I do as well. Chelsea was already a, a confident guy last year, but he was playing with some veteran receivers who he really didn't have a lot of chemistry with because he was thrown into the mix. When you bring in a high school teammate of his, can you see his, a, his confidence rising? and B, he's a little bit more comfortable uh, in the passing game? Uh, you see the comfortability. I think the confidence has is, is come along because of just really knowing the system. People understand he was a, you know, he was a, a true freshman. You know, he was a true freshman last year. And so um, you know, there, there is a learning curve for that. And, and he's still learning. He's still learning. Uh, you know, when we went back and looked at the film, uh, by no stretch was he perfect. Uh, we thought, you know, he, he will tell you if he, you know, uh, tell you honestly that there were some misreads there. There were some things that were there. Um, that uh, we did not take advantage of. Um, so there's still some learning to be done. But I think he's getting, I think he's getting comfortable. And the, the confidence is building, but he's getting more and more comfortable with the offense and what we're asking him to do. Coach Hobbs has done a great job of taking him under his wing and getting him to see some things a little more clear. Statewide, I am big on North Carolina high school players staying here. And uh, with the opportunity to go forward, and you'll see it in our recruiting, uh, we'll continue to re recruit regional and whatnot, but I am big on, on North Carolina kids. I, I want to have this team heavy centered with North Carolina kids. And the closer they are to Durham, the better it is for our fan base, the better it is for our program and our school. I think we get a better, greater return on our investment. And I understand the whole a whole economics and the flow of how all that works. But I, I'm just a big fan of it. I think hometown kids, home state kids play harder from their fans and families and their, their kids that go further away. And it's just been my experience as a coach over the years that you know home, you, you just do better in the long run, home, long run with hometown kids. What is Talk about Deshaun and, uh, and what he brings to this team, both on and off the field. Well, Deshaun is a very mature young man. Uh, don't know exactly what his age is, but to be college, he's still a very – carries himself very well. Um, you know, we have lists. We're looking for guys who are always lists. Don't sh show up late for this. Don't do that. Don't turn that in. You never find Deshaun Stevens on any list. In his time, short time here, you know, so he, he carries himself well, speaks well, he represents you well. Don't know if you all noticed. Uh, that's why we selected him as a captain, uh, as one of our offensive captain representatives, because he just carries himself well. Uh, I'm sure that has to do uh, – a lot to do with his, uh, his family situation, though I don't know those folks well. He looks like he's been well taught, well raised. Um, on the field, uh, you see the same uh, persona of confidence, um, very big catch radius. Um, you know, uh, if he can get his mitts on it, he's probably going to come down with it. And, um, you know, uh, we expect that kind of consistency to be there going forward. Uh, showing a guy, you'll block, you'll do whatever, you'll play special teams. He's got that. Uh, He's got that really that good teammate, selfless, you know, character about him as well. Those are the things that stick out to me really outside of the athletic talents. Um, I just like what he represents as a, you know, full team player. Uh, that means a lot to me in what we do here. Uh, Prairie View and was a great team. Uh, I feel like we left, left a lot of plays out on the field. And uh, hopefully we get cleaned up this week. How was it just being in that first game with that uh, NCCU jersey on? Uh, it felt great, you know. It's been a long time coming. Uh, felt like I was just doing like eagle blitz and spring ball yesterday, but uh, I'm happy the season got going and uh, looking forward to a great season. I asked you something like this earlier, but did it, did it mean more for you being on TV and having the NCC across your chest because you're from from here in Durham? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I just feel like I was doing it for more than myself, just my city in general, and uh, also my family. So, uh, and also just being so close to, to uh, North Carolina Central, I just feel like it's just, it's like a pleasure of mine to be here, you know what I'm saying, and actually just do what I love to do you know, for my city, so. Obviously, again, being a local guy, you, you're familiar with St. Aug, and this is a big deal in this area. Um, 
How big is this? Is it a rivalry game, or do you know lots of guys over there? How big is it for you to, to have this home game against them to start off with? Uh, well, yeah, I don't really know anybody that's at all, but uh, I know like that in Triangle. You know what I'm saying? Like Triangle schools versus Triangle schools is always a big deal, you know, uh, for bragging rights. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, it should be a good game. You know what I'm saying? I open it up with a local team, so hopefully we can. You know, get the game. What do you hope personally you can improve from uh, game one to game two? Uh, just probably to keep my composure. Uh, and keeping my team together, you know, because kind of when uh, when things are going our way, we kind of like, I ain't going to say we fell apart, but, you know, it was kind of some adversity hit us, and we kind of didn't know how to take it at first. But uh, hopefully we can just uh, overcome as a team a little better than that. See, you didn't know how to respond to that adversity at first. Uh, something happened because you all scored 21 unanswered. What um, kind of flipped the switch there? Uh, just communication, pretty much. That's about it. And... Uh, just come to the sideline, knowing what you manning up and just owning up to like your your mess ups and and we did that a lot and so I feel like that helped us out um, explode for 21 points and get back into the game. How much do the players talk? I mean, the coaches it's for them to say is one thing. How much do you guys talk amongst yourself about not overlooking a team like that at all? Oh, uh, as a as a leader of the team, I talk, I make sure I talk to my guys a lot, you know, because it's easy for people to. Like not prepare as hard as for St. All, you know what I'm saying? Just because they feel like it'll be an easy win. But the way I was raised and coming up with football family, like I was raised to take every opponent, like don't take nobody lightly. So we got to prepare like we prepare for Prairie View and them, and just prepare like we was about to be in the championship game every week. So you mentioned the fact that uh, you're a leader on the team. You were voted a captain, um, and this is your first season here. How did you? gain that trust and respect from everybody so quickly and what does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot, you know, just just to see just to show that I'm like not all about myself, you know, I'm a, I try I try to pride myself on being a great leader. And just do anything to help my teammates really. And uh and now just being here for a short period of time and just gaining the trust, I probably say it comes from just my hard work, you know, and just showing up every day working, you know, staying out the out the practice, getting extra catches in, stuff like that and you know, I just it just feels great, honestly, because it show like just all my hard work pays off, and it don't show it show more than just like my athletic ability, my ability off the field, like you know, and it just feels good, honestly. Yeah, it should be should be exciting. Uh, I actually talked to my grandmother today. She uh she gonna make her first my first her first game since I've been in college, so that's good, you know, and uh, just hopefully I have it packed out with a lot of my family, so they can finally see me play. Uh, and yeah, I'm just hopefully I could just go out and do good for my team and show my family what they've been missing. Uh, so you have former high school teammates on this team. Um, what is that bond like, and how how does it feel to just play with the same guys that you kind of grew up with? It feels great. It just take you back to old times a lot, and uh, and just know we always have like still have that chemistry. It just makes everything like ten times better, and uh, and I feel like like us have, us three having that chemistry, it, we can like it can feed off on the, uh, on other players as well, you know, and then like and then we can just grow over, over the years to come, our next two three years, as the as our chemistry get you know so overflow to everybody else. So yeah, it's great. A moment ago, coach was talking about the importance of having the local guys stay local. And he said that the hometown guys tend to play harder for their hometown teams. You haven't attended and played for two triangle schools. Do you think that's true as well? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, it's just I feel like you don't want nobody to come to your turf, you know what I'm saying, and, and take over. So it always just be a chip on your shoulder, you know, uh, just some, some energy that, that they can just feed you and force your play, you know what I'm saying, just because you're here at home. So. I actually, I, I do feel like that. There's a lot of make it a bit more exciting just because you're a hometown kid. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.